Right, our top focus at this hour on to some breaking news. Big statement by Interpol's top official on red corner notice. Secretary General Jurgen Stock said that Interpol cannot just ask any member nation to arrest an individual against whom a red corner notice is issued. Remember, 93 riots accused, that is Dawood Ibrahim, who is said to be living in Pakistan, has a red corner notice issued against him. So that's the latest that we're tracking in terms of uh, the latest uh, 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 that Interpol official has said on the red corner notice that can't tell nations to just arrest people. Red corner notice is not an arrest warrant. Interpol stand huddle to nab gangsters is a big question that we're asking on this note. In fact, uh, let's cut across to my colleague Bhavatosh joining us live from Delhi. Bhavatosh, what exactly do we make of this Interpol uh, uh, top official statement? Uh, somewhere do you think that this will be an impediment when it comes to arresting uh, the gangsters or fugitives? Well, uh, there is a press conference. There was a press conference that was held uh, by the Interpol chief. So, uh, All right, we're trying to fix that audio there, but remember that's the latest by the Interpol officials on uh, the significance and the use of the red corner notice with the Interpol making it clear, in fact, that you can't just dictate to the nations to arrest people. Red corner, they make it clear, is not an arrest warrant. So there we have the Interpol, in fact, drawing the line on the use of red corner notice. Big statement and lead by Interpol's top officials on the use of red corner notice. The Secretary General has gone on to address the assembly and said that Interpol cannot just ask any member nation to just randomly arrest an individual against whom a red corner notice is issued. But in to note that uh, 93 um, Mumbai riots accused Dawood Ibrahim, who is said to be living in Pakistan, too has a red corner notice issued against him. So remember, that's the latest that we're picking up in terms of the latest that, uh, in fact, ensued at the Interpol's 90th, 90th General Assembly with the Interpol official drawing the line on the use of red corner notice. Yes, I'm once again being joined by Bhavatosh on the phone line. Bhavatosh, please continue. What exactly were you taking? Uh, were you uh, telling us about uh, the Interpol official's uh, statement on the same? Uh, there was a press conference that was held uh, ahead of the Prime Minister's uh, address uh, at the Interpol uh, 90th uh, uh, General Assembly in which a specific question was asked uh, whether uh, the red corner notice uh, that are generally issued by the Interpol, uh, it, will it lead to any kind of uh, tangible action or not? To which uh, the Secretary General of Interpol, uh, Jorgen Stock, said that uh, we, they can't force any nation to arrest an individual uh, if there is a red corner notice against uh, uh, that particular person. Now, this comes in the background of, of the fact that uh, uh, one of the main accused uh, in the murder of uh, Sidhu Musewala has a red corner notice uh, against him, that is Goldie Barar, and also uh, uh, Rinda, uh, an accused uh, who has uh, is a known terrorist who is staying in, uh, uh, is hiding <laughs> in Pakistan, and he has uh, several cases of terrorism against him, and also the fact that Daud Ibrahim and his... Uh, henchmen uh, are, uh, are hiding in Pakistan. Now, to that question, uh, Jorgen uh, Stock said that uh, the, these individuals who are staying or hiding in, uh, in Pakistan and other country, they can't force them to, uh, uh, to be arrested because these countries are sovereign countries and, uh, and it, it, the Interpol, as member nation, they can't, uh, can't ask them to arrest any individual. The second question, they said that... Uh, Terrorism is a is a matter that is not one of the top priorities of Interpol. Their task is to arrest uh, people who are involved in child molestation or in cases of uh, child sexual uh, material available online or cases of narco uh, narcotism or in cases of uh, murder. Now, this comes as a surprise because uh, Interpol in past has always said that any organized crime, whether it's terrorism, uh, even in those cases, they always make an effort to uh, to people who have a red corner notice against them. Yeah, yeah. But Jorgen Stock was very specific that uh, if there is a red corner notice against any individual, then they can't force any country to arrest that person if he's hiding there. All right, Bhavtosh, thank you so much for uh, getting us up to speed with the significance of that statement made by the Interpol top official. All right.